What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol CRM for Salesforce.com. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will be more of an update. We've covered it in the past and the main things to really talk about today are the large gap up that we experienced on Thursday and then the huge movement to the upside now closing at new all time highs, right? The prior all time high was this 248 or excuse me, 284 13 mark. If we go ahead and look at a weekly for a moment you can see where that was coming into play and now obviously we've closed above that so back down to the daily to talk about this move a little bit more here uh you know the the one thing that sort of sticks out to me is that probably now is not the time to chase it, right? It's already made a substantial move from in here to 60s all the way up to 285, give or take. I would really wait for some sort of price digestion before trying to get in on the next leg higher. Now, could it go without you? Absolutely. But from a risk-friendly entry perspective, I, I really want to see that consolidation, right? So taking a look at the 30-minute intraday time frame to see how these moves actually unfolded, we'll look through the lens of Fibonacci from the Thursday move, right? There was, there was no real pullback at all. So certainly, you know, if you want to count that as the first leg higher, held the 38.2. All the way on up to the high, obviously that also held the 38.2. If we go on up to the high of today's session, what you'll notice is that the 38.2 is now coinciding perfectly with the low as well as this brief period of pause at the end of the day on Thursday. So I like that as an area just to watch out for. So we'll put a regular level on the chart there. We'll clean up this fib. And then lastly, we'll look at today's activity through the lens of the fib as well. So from low all the way on up to the high. And what you'll notice, of course, is that yes, we did violate the 38.2 on this first pullback, but overwhelmingly the rest of the day was spent above the 38.2 consolidation. So for me, I mean, you can look at this a couple of ways. Ideally, in a perfect world, we consolidate right here, holding up above that 282.85. We break out into blue sky territories, whole and half dollars, intraday levels that do form on something that's now trading, you know, just shy of 300, just about. So that's, you know, perfect world, ideal consolidation uh, from the daily, what that would look like. Let's just clean that up. Again, that would be sort of like a small indecision doji candle that prints up here. Maybe it looks like a hammer. Who really knows what the structure would be? But we don't take out that 38.2 from the uh, day time frame of that Friday session. And again, bull flag, whatever gets put in, break out into blue sky territories. What I think is probably more realistic, though, is not expecting it to hold up just in this range if there is some sort of deeper pullback, noting that we could go to this high. And remember that this is the 38.2 of this overall move. So that would be fine as well. I think that, again, is a little bit more realistic and certainly uh, would be healthy for price acceptance up here. So any consolidation here, still looking for the breakout up and overall time highs into blue sky territories, whole and half dollars, intraday levels that do form. What would be concerning though, would be if we get a turnaround that violates that 38.2 or today's low and the prior day's high on solid red volume. So the volume bar looks something like this, that would be slightly concerning. And I would argue we probably come back down lower into the low of that Thursday session, noting that there just wasn't a whole lot of structure that was put in, right? There's, it's not like we have some major major pullback area that's really obvious, right? Acting as support here. So again, that's where it gets dangerous underneath that 278.38 and why I would really advise you need some sort of consolidation first instead of just trying to buy the highs up here. I think the risk of some sort of pullback is too great uh, in terms of, you know, the likely scenario rather than just a, you know, rocket ship off into blue sky territories looking at 300, right? So please, be patient, wait for some form of consolidation, get your risk-friendly entry, and probably be you know even more patient if we take out that uh, 278.38 area, noting that we could very well come back down into these lows in here. Lastly, just keep an eye on volume. We mentioned it to the sell side, but if there is any upside continuation here, you want to see volume on par with what we saw from today and Thursday's session. You know, anywhere around this general zone is fine. What you don't want to see is a green, you know, upside continuation day with a volume that looks something like this, right? That would not be good for a upside continuation, it would probably mean that we stall out and get some sort of nasty pullback in the near term future. So those are my thoughts on CRM. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, definitely let me know down below in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.